Why, hello there, my internet friends. My name is John Jagney, and today we're talking about the Razer Blade 15 laptop. It's a cool piece of technology that I picked up for After Effects, Cinema 4D, Unreal, Premiere, etc., and some gaming. And this is my review of said piece of technology. Not going to be terribly scientific, but enough to either persuade you or dissuade you to purchasing this piece of equipment to be front and center, I very much enjoy this. There's some things that you should know as an artist. And without further ado, let's talk about that. All right, so the Razer Blade 15 laptop. Let's get some of the basic stuff out of the way. It is a beautiful piece of technology. It looks really cool. It has a beautiful RGB keyboard. Some of the physical gripes I have with this machine is that the second you touch it, there's paw marks or there's thumbprints or there's fingerprints. It just picks up oil or anything that you touch with it and it's just there. You can just use a microfiber cloth, so that's not that big of a deal. And then the bevel edge on the laptop, just around it is um, a little sharp. So sometimes it might be a little uncomfortable to use, but there are two solutions that I found that work around this. One, this beautiful wristband that my girlfriend purchased for me, completely unrelated to this, and I love this thing very much, and now it actually works perfectly as a little wrist rest around this. So if you have a bracelet, that would be a good solution. Second, as far as the physical use of this laptop is that it runs hot. It runs very hot, and it could be uncomfortable to use on a lap even though it's a laptop, so that makes it a little um, confusing. But what is the solution for that? A lap desk. This thing goes on my lap and it has fans and you plug it into the USB and it does the thing. It even can tilt and articulate. I'm not sponsored by Razer or this lap desk, by the way, but that is what I found to help deal with the physical heating issues for the sake of this video. It's not on that because I think the shot looks cooler, but this is how I use this most of the time. So the basic stuff out of the way with the Razer Blade 15, I wanna talk a little bit about why I purchased this laptop. First off, it is 2021. And right now, if you are into technology, you'll know that purchasing a 3090 is about $3,000. $3,000 on eBay right now. Absurd, so I had a choice because oh. that guy is rendering back there and I'm like, okay, he's rendering and I can't work. I needed a second solution or at least have faster render so that I can do both. And it was like, okay, $3,000 for a 3090 or I could get a second computer for somewhere uh, around that price, $3,000 and then be able to work on one machine while being able to render on another. You could argue, okay, why didn't you get a desktop? Well, there's some personal preferences that I have that made me decide a laptop over a desktop. First, I enjoy the mobility of things. So if I ever go on a client shoot, for example, I can bring this laptop in my camera and tether said camera to laptop and show this to a client. And basically they can see what my camera sees and it just makes it a little bit easier to go through revisions and improve the, the process of creative with my clients. So that's one of the first reasons why I got a laptop. Something a little bit more mobile, but not so mobile like a, an iPad where it doesn't have as much processing power to handle more advanced things in the 3D world. So that brings me to my next topic. Okay, if you wanted to bring something to Tether, why didn't you get an iPad? Well, this runs Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine is a video game engine and this is a gaming laptop. And as a motion designer who works with the Unreal Engine, this works out quite perfectly actually. So the reason why I bought this laptop is because I wanted something that was capable of handling a lot of the 3D work that I do whilst also being able to use my second computer. And the way I have this set up is I use Dropbox. So I will work all of, all of my project files off of Dropbox. And then once a project file is done here or there, they just talk to each other. 
and they effectively just sync up. And once it's the project files sync up and everything's downloaded, I can just go to the other machine and hit the big fat render button and it's there. And I can render on either of these machines. Now, okay, go back to the original statement. Why didn't you get another desktop to do the rendering thing? Uh, I like being able to be mobile and play games on, on the go as well. So right now my game of choice is World of Warcraft and you're like, Jags, you have a 3080 to play World of Warcraft. I'm like, yes, I do, and I know, and I don't care because it still has tons of frames and I love that part. Second, with Unreal, because it's a video game engine, I want to be able to have as much performance as I can in that and still make it feel like a video game. Some of the advantages of Unreal is that it has ray tracing and 30 generation graphics cards also have ray tracing. So you get those beautiful ray trace shadows in your Unreal renders. And because Unreal is real time, I'm very comfortable rendering Unreal stuff on this because it is fast. It's effectively like a video game versus I would not render anything in Redshift or Octane or Cinema 4D on this because that just takes too long. And I know that because this laptop runs hot, I don't want to burn this out sooner. So the workflow for this is creative work, boop, 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 on laptop, send to desktop to render because even though I have a 2080 Ti over there, they, they're pretty much equivalent as far as processing power. This one allows me to work still while being able to render simultaneously. So that's the workflow on why I picked up a laptop. Like I said, this is not gonna be a scientific review. This is going to be my thoughts on the experience of working in 3D on a laptop is it doable, is it possible, or even just doing creative work on this as a gaming laptop? The surface answer and the base answer is yes. It works great, it's amazing. But there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of when using this laptop as a creative tool to also play games sometimes. First off, you will get the most processing power when the thing is plugged into an outlet. The second you unplug it, the graphics card decides to not be as functional, and we'll keep it as simple as that, so you won't get the full capabilities of the laptop. I've done a couple tests running Premiere without it, and it just, it's slower, and I, I know how it runs without having any bottlenecks, so when it's plugged in, it runs actually pretty amazing. So I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say, use an outlet, have a power source, when you're doing creative stuff. When you're gaming, you'll also see a little bit of a performance dip. When I'm in Stormwind on my Bankle and I just have uh, no power plugged into it, I see my frames drop a little bit because there's someone walking around with some crazy enchant with spell effects and whatnot and the laptop's like, what? So I'm just gonna plug it in most of the time. Now, because I know I'm a 3D artist and I'm sitting lot. Uh, this is pretty much just lives on this desk right here most of the time. Now there are a handful of situations where I bring my equipment to either a client or a colleague's house and we'll do some work and being able to do 3D work in multiple places is really nice and like I said Dropbox being able to communicate between the two machines makes my life incredibly easy so that I can just do work here, render there, hit the render button over there and just keep doing the things I need. Now, one thing that is worth mentioning with that is you will need two licenses. You need a Cinema 4D license twice. The Adobe Suite actually allows you to have a license on two machines. So thank you very much, Adobe. That's super useful. So what are my final thoughts on this laptop? I like it very much. It is a little uncomfortable to use, but the workflow, like I said, is wrist wrap, lap desk, make sure it's plugged in, and ensure that you're not doing crazy long renders on this so you're not gonna burn it out. Second, how does it work with the creative software? It runs incredibly fast, just as fast as my other desktop, so you can look at other reviews and they will show you the benchmarks of things, and generally speaking, it's pretty fast, it's pretty sweet on how fast this runs. Why didn't I get the Razer Blade 14 that just came out with the new AMD chips? I wanted something with a little bit bigger screen. 
the screen on a 14 inch just felt a little too small for me and when I do a bunch of 3D stuff there's tons of small tiny buttons that I have to be aware of so the Razer Blade 15 was that nice sweet spot where it's not so big and bulky that I have to have a com complete separate laptop bag for this. This can still fit inside my camera bag just fine. It's mobile enough where I can do creative work on the go as long as I have an outlet. So overall, I enjoy this laptop. Beware of some of the minor things such as the heat but I know I'm not disappointed with this, and if you are looking for a new graphics card in 2021, and you can't find any of them, and you don't want to spend $3,000 on eBay, a second computer might be a good decision if you are getting a ton of work. Anyways, that is my thoughts on the Razer Blade 15. I hope this was helpful to you if you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, let me know in the comment section down below or hit me up on Instagram at John Jagsney. And I will leave you with one final tip. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you'll make some goodbye my friends. Bye.